What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Coordinator. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Whether you're watching my video over on Minds, on Rumble, on BitChute, on Odyssey, I'm really glad you chose to tune in today. I hope that you will click that little red subscribe button down below the video or whatever platform alternative you're using. I appreciate all of your support. Now, I've got a little bit more video game news today. It would appear that there are some massive technical issues with the Xbox Series X. However, are they what they all seem to be? Now, mine is sitting over there currently right now, not smoking. Um, the disk drive seems fine, and I just installed Assassin's Creed Valhalla so I can stream it tomorrow, providing I have recovered from this flu, which I am 13% better today than I was yesterday. So odds are looking good that maybe later tonight or even tomorrow we'll have a stream going. But most uh, many sites are reporting several Xbox X users are reporting a variety of hardware issues, including smoky consoles. Now I will tell you that the very first time I saw everyone was tagging me in these um, smoking Xbox videos and uh, I knew right away by looking at it, that it wasn't electronics uh, smoke. Uh, I've repaired computers. My very first job was repairing computers. Believe me, I let the ghost out of many computer motherboards in my day. I have seen the magic smoke many times, and what came out of these was not that. I knew something was up right away, but there are a variety of other issues that I think there is some credence to. After two months of waiting, Xbox fans were finally able to get their hands on Microsoft's latest consoles yesterday. However, due to an unforeseen Xbox Live login issue, many buyers couldn't enjoy their new consoles on launch day. Thankfully, Microsoft managed a quick recovery and fixed the login issue for most users on a matter of hours. But it seems that the login issue may have just been the tip of the iceberg. Many Xbox Series X and Series S users are reportedly experiencing various hardware issues with their consoles ranging from faulty disk drives to smoke coming out of the top vent. Now, as I am hearing many of you saying, this is why you don't buy the first generation of a new generation of console. Remember the uh, RRD, uh, the Red Ring of Death on the Xbox 360. I had one, not one, not two, but three Red Ring of Death consoles by the, on the Xbox. And to Microsoft's credit, they replace it every single time. Uh, so there is that. Now, he, ideally, you wouldn't have had lost three consoles, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, if we look at some of these issues here, if we just look at one of these tweets, um, you can see uh, you know, some great memes coming out of it, obviously. But if you see this video, there's it's five seconds long. You see what I can tell you here is a thinning of... The smoke coming out of it i mean if something was actually like malfunctioning it likely wouldn't just stop like that it looks like uh vape you know and then we've got some hilarious memes which i think is, is always good um we recently spotted a video of an xbox series x dramatically emitting smoke from the top vent doing the rounds on Twitter. Since many of the comments of the video were calling it fake, we checked the Xbox subreddit to see if anyone else was facing a similar issue. There we spotted another post about a smoking Xbox Series X with a link in the comments that led us to this Xbox Series X hardware issue thread. There's another video of the Series X going, uh, smoking itself up too. The Reddit thread uh, includes several reports of users receiving DOA Xbox X units, units that completely shut down after just a couple hours of use, overheating units, one that sounds like a refrigerator from the 80s, and overheating could be the reason behind random shutdowns, and in bad enough cases for the smoke. As some users have pointed out, the loud noise in one of the videos linked above could be attributed to the device installing a game from the disc. As of now, we're not sure whether these issues are as widespread as they seem, since the aforementioned reports only account for a small fraction of the total consoles. Well, I can tell you that for me, uh, it makes me concerned. It makes me want to put some hours into this right away, because I don't get a lot of time to play video games, and it might be you know, another, it might be a month before I can play for like four hours, three, four hours straight, really apply some heat to this thing and long, then it'll be out of warranty, right? If you look here, there's only anecdotal evidence. It ends up getting 
uh, removed. So, so I wonder if this is just typical failure rate. Most computers or consoles experience, or are we getting a large influx of reports due to the release, or if it's something more? We'll have to wait a bit to get a bigger picture, but if one's on fire, that's concerning. Now, <coughs> and remember, excuse me, in the, era, in the era of modern social media, people are much, you know, first of all, you're incentivized to fake things. Now, I don't think all the issues with the Xbox Series X are fake, but I do think some of them are. Um, and one user points out, if you produce a million devices and have a 0.1 failure rate, that's a thousand devices that won't work pop it properly. Push down to 0 0.01, there's still a hundred units with errors. It sucks for people who receive one of those, but it's most likely the nature of mass production. It also depends on the failure. I recall there were only 112 reported cases of the Samsung Galaxy Note at, uh, 7s having their issue, but the PR disaster, especially considering ha, one inside of a plane and the potential danger was too great to ignore. Um, if you look at some more of these videos, you have this particular one where the disk drive, um, you have see, hey Ryan, your Xbox Series X disk drive loud when installing games? Let's see here. I mean, it's loud, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it crazy loud. If you see here, now the disk drive in the Xbox Series X seems not to be able to accept disks properly. You can see this. That does not sound good. Now that is definitely an issue. Uh, you know, that the disk drive thing is definitely an issue. Now, you see on Forbes, these uh, vaping Xbox Series X viral videos are easy to fake. I woke up to find a few different videos making the rounds this morning that appear to show an Xbox Series X smoking from the top of the vent, seeming to indicate heat issues were occasionally mentioned in some of the early previews. Take it into extreme. These videos are almost certainly fake, and getting your Xbox Series X to do this is just a trick to get some internet points and caused Microsoft PR to scramble. There are two main videos getting passed around right now, which you can see below. So what's going on here? The answer is likely that these videos filmers are blowing vape smoke inside the Xbox Series X and then recording as it drains out of the top. You'll note that each of these videos are only five to eight seconds long. If it was real, it would likely be able, to, the smoke would be prolonged. Here's a brief experiment to show just how easy it is. <clears throat> you could see Xbox Studio when putting out here it, that it's fake news. You see this guy with his little device. Um, everything's going on. Talking about, I think it's in a different language, so I muted it. But pretty clearly you can see, uh, here, hold on a second. Let's wait. Yep, blowing it underneath, and there it goes. And you can see it removes from the bottom pretty clearly. And there you go. Exactly five seconds of that coming through. Now, would I be doing that to create an internet meme? Probably not. Um, the more smoke you pour in, the more you can get to come out of the top, most likely. On one hand, I suppose you can write this off as a joke. On the other, I really don't think it's fair to spread around like it's confirmed when it's more than likely a prank instead implying the Series X has overheating issues. This isn't to say that no one will possibly have overheating issues with the Xbox Series X, but be careful where you store it and where the vent has airflow. But these videos that make it look like the system is quite literally on fire are going a bit too far. If this were true and the Series X was literally combusting in people's living rooms, Microsoft would have to recall them. So yes, I think it's important to establish that it's almost certainly a joke, albeit a bad one. Now, I don't think it's a bad joke. I mean, I think it's funny. Um, when I ver when I saw the video immediately, I knew it wasn't real. Um, but I suppose not everyone uh, has let the ghost out so many times. Now, this says, I've seen a few other videos with Xbox Series X making some odd noises when the disc is inserted, which seems less likely to be fake and more possibly an issue with this specific console. But it's unclear what that issue is and if it's widespread or connected to just isolated incidents. Now, I grabbed a disc just to test mine and everything seemed to be okay, but certainly these ones that we're seeing on video, they're real. And the real bummer here, um, you know, is that 
you're probably not getting another one. You're not get, you don't get to return it to the store because everybody's sold out. So it's a double bummer if you pre-ordered this thing and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for it to arrive. When it finally arrives, it malfunctions and then you have to wait three months to get a replacement. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.